Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to display charts, specifically bar charts and line charts, using the Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. This is a demo dashboard page that showcases various types of charts you can create using the chart widget in Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. You can copy the flow and try it out with your own data. So that was the line chart example. Now let's take a look at two bar charts. You can use the slider to see how the values update dynamically. If this looks like a good fit for your data, go ahead and copy the flow, it's ready to use as a template. This one also displays a bar chart, but the values are static, you can't change them. You can only clear or show the data using the buttons. Next, we have a grouped bar chart. In this example, there are two groups, slider 1 and slider 2. Each slider controls two bars, green and yellow. Try clicking on the sliders to update the values for each data point. In this demo dashboard, especially in the sections showing bar and line charts, I feel the variety of chart types is still quite limited. For example, there's no stacked bar chart yet, which is often useful for comparing parts of a whole. Also, the line chart currently uses a time-based x-axis, whereas in some cases, we actually need a category-based x-axis, for example, when comparing data across specific groups or labels rather than over time. Another missing feature is the combination of bar and line charts in a single view, which is commonly used to compare two different metrics visually. In practical use cases, we often need a wide range of chart types to represent data effectively. Different types of charts help convey different kinds of insights, whether it's trends, comparisons, distributions, or compositions. Here's a node red flow I built to show a combined bar and line chart using the template node. A button node is used to trigger the generation of random data in a function node, and the chart is then rendered through the template node. This is an example of the code used inside the template node to display both bar and line data in one chart. Now here's the function node code that generates random data. It builds an array of payload objects with date, output, and target values, so they can be visualized in the chart through the template node. Alright, now let's head over to the dashboard to see the result. Click the button at the bottom to generate the data. After clicking, the chart will appear with the output displayed as bars and the target shown as a line. The x-axis is based on dates, giving you a clear view of how the data changes over time. In the debug node, we can see the contents of the payload array, which is the result of the generated random data. Each entry contains a date, output, and target value. In a real scenario, this data could represent actual production line output compared to the target quantity. Next, we have a chart variation that includes two bar charts and one line chart. In this example, output and target quantities are visualized with bars, while the OEE percentage is shown as a line. Displaying all three metrics together in one chart using different visual styles makes it easier to grasp the relationship between actual performance, targets, and OEE at a glance. Here is the code used to generate random values for output, target, and OEE. And this is the corresponding code in the template node. In the options section for the axes, for example, Y1 axis, if you need to set a maximum value manually, you can add the max property there. If you'd rather have the chart calculate the maximum automatically, just remove the max setting. The next chart variation displays one bar and two line charts. In this example, the output is shown as a bar, while the target and OEE values are displayed as lines. However, the target line shares the same y-axis as the output, since they represent similar value ranges, typically in units or quantities. The OEE line, on the other hand, usually uses a separate y-axis, as it's expressed in percentage. Now let's take a look at a stacked bar and line chart combination. Here, I've used stacked bars to show quantity OK and quantity defect, so when they're stacked, they represent the total output visually. On top of that, the OEE percentage is shown using a line chart. This kind of chart makes it easier to understand both the breakdown of output quality and how efficient the production is overall. Next, I've added the OEE factors, availability, performance, and quality, and displayed them as line charts with dashed lines to distinguish them from the main OEE line. This allows us to see not just the final OEE value, but also how each individual factor contributes to the overall efficiency. In the next chart, I've added a bar chart for the target quantity, 
positioned beside the stack bar. With this setup, we can clearly see the OEE value, the key OK and defect, as well as the target output quantity, all in one chart. This makes it much easier to evaluate production performance at a glance. Thanks for watching. I've also shared the example flow shown in this video, you can find the link in the video description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.